uh, just outside Thunder Hill. But this is a uh, settlement there. But, but we're just kind of built too much there. Uh, and as I was built that, I got attacked by two death claws. That guy. Scanning, scanning, accessing pre war records. Record found. Driver's license S nine one three two eight eight six two. Lawyer, the high there, citizen. You are hereby conscripted into the Congressional Army. You're doing what? You don't have the authority to do that. We are in desperate times, madam. Proclamation 22 allows all crew members to conscript citizens for the war effort. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. Cut the double quick, madam.
Captain speaking. We're taking on an Allied soldier. Clear the berth. Disable defenses. Make way. All is well. Patrolling. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Defending the Constitution. Rolling. Unidentified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. It's an honor to crew such a story. That's all. Speed zero knots. Patrolling. All is well. Captain. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate? Congressional Army? Why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. 
As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Why are you even here? On this ship, it's... it's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she donned this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. You didn't explain why you're talking like that. Look around you. In these times of great unrest, is it not prudent to adopt the manner of a more civilized time? If that answer is not to your satisfaction, I'm afraid you must make your peace with it. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He called these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. How did it even get up here? A harrowing tale of that there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is, atop the Sargasso Sea of rubble and misfortune. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. What war effort? Against Communist China, of course. But if any Redcoats or Canadians sail nearby, I will give them a good thrashing, to be sure. To avenge the burning of our nation's capital would be a sweet victory indeed. Consult with the Bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. The last resort. A few warning shots usually suffice to scare that. Man. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Captain Ironsides. If the scavengers keep seeking folly and destruction, I will reluctantly oblige them. Does this humble unit a great honor? My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! Do you often just interject, as you put it? Indeed I do. I exclaim from exuberance, and not because I've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and anachronisms. My metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? I will confide this only as a cautionary tale. The captain requires all crew to speak in the proper idiom. We are the inheritors of a sacred tradition. There was a time I thought he was, well, balmy. With my new programming, I see his incalculable wisdom. A last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, madam. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. Can't someone else repair it? The rest of this crew is programmed for more martial pursuits. And they are, dare I say, useless in this endeavor. Oh, were I hale and hearty, but fate is a cruel mistress. How'd you lose your arms? They were stolen from me in their prime, with a full two centuries left on their warranty. The scavenger scum blasted them off me as I valiantly defended our ship systems. But the ship surgeon still with us. The ship had a surgeon? What happened to him? Sadly, he is no longer with us. Another casualty in our thrice cursed war with the scavengers. He's passing. He's a terrible loss. Look around. The captain's vision brought us here. But it was the surgeon who rebuilt the Constitution. Now it falls to us to carry on his work. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. such a story that's all hey bosun from the top deck one can spot other robots from the common floating listless without purpose not us. defending the constitution
patrolling. Ahoy, soldier! Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. If they've attacked you 17 times, why don't you fight back? This unit suggests Captain's core processes in need of extensive maintenance. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. Who stole your guidance chip? Guidance chip is one entry on the list of stolen items. Reclaim chip at Scavenger's forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft D unlocked and available for your use, madam.
Excuse me. Don't shoot. Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So, they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kind of with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together, gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kind of lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were gonna get cratered for sure. Does it really matter how I got aboard? Fine, don't tell me. But you gotta look inside, right? All that salvage, the real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. Is all the junk inside really that valuable? Well, yeah, we could keep Diamond City in parts for months with all them gizmos. We'd never have to scrounge in the gutter again. So you talked with a tin can. What'd he have to say? What do you think he said? No freaking clue. The only talking we ever did to that Russ Bucket was him yelling at us about keel hauling crap like that while his robots tried to murder us. So, what did he say? We talked about a lot of things. Let me guess he wants his computer chip back, right? Well, too bad. It's our salvage now. You know what he needs it for, his rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. Rockets? Why is he building rockets? Who knows? Maybe a bomb. Maybe he'll launch himself into space. Who cares? It's valuable as hell. That's what matters. Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with her. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This lady's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. I need to think about this. Don't take too long or we'll crack the Constitution open ourselves. And then you'll get nothing. on the other side. Grab anything useful. <laughs> Hit 
here. Take anything good. Check it out. Over there. Get into position. Bring it here, boy. Grab anything useful. Take anything good. Oh, Ow. Courses through the Constitution's veins. Again! Her systems. Long starved. Fregata life! <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to our shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Why are you ashamed of that? Bad for morale, madam. Well, they were dark times when I made all manner of baseless complaints against the captain. The manner in which this ship is run and the plausibility of our sacred mission. But now, I see the error of my ways. And with your help, perhaps I can atone. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas.
Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Oh yeah, I picked up loads of them. Defending the Constitution. Flows far and steady. I would applaud you, but alas, I cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, madam, huzzah. So, no more problems with the power. Area one. It flows like a veritable torrent through our cables. If I may say so, the surgeon would be proud. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator. Is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. The fuck was the Navigator again? Hey, robot. Standing down. Clear deck of intruders. Error. Soldier. Chip recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is non-functional. Requires replacement. 
What's wrong with the transmitter? Diagnostic inconclusive. No functioning Mr. Handy's available for detailed analysis. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, madam.
are required while within a work site. Please wear your hard hat.
That's it. We have to grab our stuff. No! I have to leave a note for Mama so she can find us. Stop it! Boys, come on. We're leaving. Now! Hold it! I have to get jangled! 